Duke of Edinburgh expeditions are great fun, but they can be quite challenging at times. Whether you're setting out on your bronze practice or gold qualifier expedition, there's likely to be something that could go wrong. So stick around for the most important things to remember while preparing for your DV. The most important thing to remember is to look after your feet. Sore and blistered feet resulting from damp socks and boots without good ankle support can ruin your whole weekend and can also put you off DV for good. If you're going to invest in anything before going on DV, make it a good pair of walking boots. Boots that are too flexible or have a worn sole or are just generally taken too much wear and tear or even don't fit are going to cause you so much discomfort. Remember to try boots on in store and you're looking for something with good ankle support that doesn't flex and is fully waterproof. Another thing to remember is to bring enough pairs of walking socks, good walking socks as well. These are merino wool and I absolutely swear by these because they dry really really quickly which helps prevent blisters. Um, they're also really good at keeping away odour so you can wear them for a couple of days and your feet don't reek afterwards. Lastly on the topic of toes, um, bring enough blister plasters and if you feel like your feet are getting quite tender and you might be getting a blister, put one of these on as soon as possible because treating full blown blisters is much more painful and they take ages to heal. The next thing you need to do is pack light but smart. A 65 litre rucksack is fine for bronze and silver, maybe push it to 70 litres for gold. You should also remember that the overall pack weight should be no more than 25% of your own body weight. Again, maybe pushing to 30% if you're a gold participant feeling particularly strong. Now, that may sound like a lot of space. I mean, I can fit in my bag. That's probably because I'm like five foot for cool, but the point still stands. It is a lot of space. However, when you think about the amount of stuff you actually have to fit in that bag. A sleeping bag. A roll mat, lots of food, and water, all the other bits of crap you seem to need on DV, a wash kit, plenty of spare clothes, oh, and a tent. It, it isn't actually that much room. <laughs> Okay, so it's likely you're going to have to invest in a few bits and pieces before you go. I work in Mountain Warehouse and the amount of guys who come in with a DV kit list and buy loads of stuff that they don't actually need. Before you go and buy anything, look at what you've got already. Especially if you're bronze, what can you make do with for the time being? Another good tip is to beg, borrow and steal. Actually, don't steal. I didn't tell you to steal, okay? Don't... Don't steal things. Seriously though, even if your mum's waterproof is a bit big or your uncle's rucksack is like 10 years old, saving money where you can will mean the bits of equipment you actually have to buy, you can buy better quality ones. A couple more tips on buying new kit. Remember to shop around, compare different products and have a look at DV recommended kit. Um, the link to which is in the description box down there. Things like boots and waterproofs, you do need to go into a shop and try them on. But have a look online for stuff you don't need to try on because you'll get more choice and probably cheaper prices too. Just make sure you leave yourself plenty of time in case delivery is late. Lastly, walking up big hills with a heavy pack for days on end is going to need your food and drink choices to be on point. For your evening meals, stick to pasta and packets of sauce. Maybe a little bit boring, but it's easy to cook on a tranger, uh, is light and filling enough to keep you going. Stay away from instant meals like pot noodles, as they aren't really filling enough and taste kind of grim. I would also stay away from tin food and anything with a lot of liquid in it, like breakfast shakes, as they weigh quite a lot. What you're going to eat during the day is another important thing to think about. Sandwiches are fine for day one, but for the subsequent days, uh, breakfast and granola bars, flapjacks, any kind of substantial snack type food. 
Trail mix and dried fruit are really good for giving you a bit of a sugar boost. Mars bars, biscuits, sweets are good as well, um, but just don't overdo it because they give you a really nasty sugar crash afterwards. I would recommend Harry Bob Thorpe. Not just for DVD, but for life as well. And I don't have to worry about overdoing it because I'm not doing my DVD at the moment, so I can finish the whole bag of form. My last tip in terms of food is to just buy porridge pots for breakfast. I mean, they're, they're just, they're light, they come in tons of flavours, they're really filling, and because they're in a pot, it means you don't have to scrape burnt on porridge off a tranja pot afterwards. On my bronze practice, I took three litres of Asderone energy drink. Didn't end well, I had a massive headache and needed to wee all day. So learn from my mistakes, take just water. It's all you need, uh, between minimum one litre, up to about three depending on how warm it is and how much you drink. If you really can't stand the taste of water, you probably need to sort that out, but these are excellent for that. Um, they're just like squeezy, high concentrate squash thingies um, but they're lightweight and don't take up too much space. As you work your way through your Dirt of Air Awards you will learn the do's and don'ts yourself but if there's anything else I can help you with if you want me to go into more detail on anything just ask me in the comments or you can tweet me. Ooh. Feedback is really important as well so if you found this video useful and you liked it please subscribe to my channel you can do so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Um, wherever you're going off DVing, best of luck. Um, just, just enjoy it. They're really, really good. So yeah, have a good one. Goodbye.